If you are feeding the birds this winter and live near a woodland, you probably have several black-capped chickadees coming to your yard right now. Black-capped chickadees stay in pairs during the spring and summer nesting season, but when fall rolls around, two or three pairs that are living in an area will band together into a small flock and they'll often get a few uh, floater single chickadees joining in. So there could be up to like a dozen chickadees flitting through the woods on uh, any given day. Uh, they will often have white breasted nuthatches, red breasted nuthatches and goldfinches join in. So quite a mixed flock and a lot of fun to see. And when they stop by your feeders, they're a lot of fun to see there too. You know, these chickadees are so cute and, and very tame as well. Uh, by the way, uh, the black capped chickadee is the most popular bird to show up on a Christmas holiday card. The ice fishing season for the winter of 2022 and 2023 is well underway now here in the Driftless region. The ice on uh, some of our farm ponds is four inches thick now, which is safe enough to walk on. Uh, I'm not sure about the Mississippi backwaters, but the ice thickness there is probably the same. The ice thickness on Lake Meyer Park ranges from only an inch in places up to four inches or so. So you do have to be careful on bigger bodies of water. Be sure to uh, have a spud bar and uh, Punch that in hard ahead of you. If you're unsure of the ice depth, if you're venturing out for the first time, be sure to wear a flotation suit as well and have the little ice picks in case you do go in. But otherwise, yeah, if the ice is safe enough to uh, walk on and uh, drill holes, you will catch fish now. Uh, I caught this bluegill here using goldenrod grubs. I went to the bait shops and they didn't have wax worms yet. So I just went out into the ditch collected some goldenrod uh, galls and cracked them open. And uh, those little grubs uh, worked great for bluegills and crappies. So uh, if you're looking for something to do this weekend uh, and you like to eat fish, uh, go catch some bluegills and crappies, yellow perch, and have a fish fry. You will have to wait until next summer if you want to find one of these cool cattail caterpillars. I found this one at the end of June, but I have also found cattail caterpillars crawling around into early September. Look at the beautiful black and yellow markings on the body of this caterpillar, along with those bright orange knobs that have the little hairs poking out of them there. Uh, these cattail caterpillars are well named. They like to eat uh, cattail leaves, uh, also smartweed leaves would be another favorite food. Uh, look for cattail caterpillars near wetlands. Could be a marsh or it could be a, a river bank as well. Uh, that's where I found this one. Uh, these cattail caterpillars will uh, form a cocoon in the fall and over winter usually kind of in a little tent uh, kind of underneath some leaves where they hide and then uh, emerge metamorphose into the adult moths next summer. Uh, and uh, the moth, by the way, of the cattail caterpillar is called Henry's Marsh Moth. And it's kind of dull and boring, just a pale brown or gray color compared to these colorful caterpillars.